This is a geometry tutorial on how to calculate the area of more complex geometric figures using the basic geometric shapes. The area of these complex geometric figures is called the composite area. To begin, let's start with the basic shapes. Know the four basic shapes. The rectangle. The square. the triangle, the circle. Most complex geometric shapes are composed of the four basic shapes. Take this drawing of a house for instance. What basic shapes is it composed of? Looking at the house, can you see the basic shapes in the drawing? There's the obvious rectangular windows. Then there's the not so obvious rectangles that are part of the chimney, the door, and the house itself. Do you see the triangles in the drawing? Lastly, can you see the circles in the house drawing? Let's focus on the front door of the house. To find the composite area, we must first assign some dimensions to the door. Since the average front door is 3 feet wide and 7 feet tall, we will use these dimensions for our door. Do you remember the basic shapes that compose the door? Can you see them? Once you have identified the basic shapes, separate the shapes and reassign dimensions as needed. Once separated, notice the top portion of the door is a half circle with a radius of 1.5 feet. To find the area of the half circle, first find the area of the full circle, like shown. Then take half the answer. Then calculate the area of the bottom rectangular portion of the door, as shown below. Now to calculate the composite area, bring all the information back together. The top portion plus the bottom portion equals the full front door. Let's try another more complex figure, like the house itself. Ignoring the windows in the door, calculate the composite area of the house. Remember to find the composite area, we must first assign the appropriate dimensions to the house and identify the basic shapes that compose the house. Notice the figure below. Do you see the rectangles and the triangles that compose the house? Then separate the shapes and reassign the dimensions as needed. See how the separation occurs? Next, calculate the area for each separate portion of the house. Lastly, bring all the information back together.